Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series where we explore the concepts of physical science and how they relate to skateboarding and BMX. This video segment covers Newton's laws. Sir Isaac Newton put forward some groundbreaking science back in the day, and now we can explore these laws through skateboarding and BMX. So let's check out Newton's laws. There are three of Newton's laws of motion to explore in the area of physical science, and they incorporate concepts found in the videos on motion and forces. <laughs> Newton's third law of motion states that for any force or action, there is an equal and opposite force or reaction. So this law refers to two objects exerting forces in opposite directions, which happens every time a skateboarder or BMX rider takes a ride. What exerts the opposite force on the rider? For starters, it can be the ramp, the park, or the flat ground upon which the skateboarder is riding. Let's take a look at something in BMX. As a rider is pedaling towards the ramp, can you identify the forces in the objects? In this case, as the BMX rider, the first object, is pushing on the pedals, which produce a force, force one, as he moves towards the ramp. At the same time, the ground itself, object two, produces an equal force, force two, in the opposite direction. That means the rider moves forward. Well, how would this work in skateboarding? Well, you could say that it works in exactly the same way. In this video clip, you can see a skateboarder riding a ramp. Can you identify the forces and the objects? In this case, the skateboarder, the first object, is pushing on the ground, which produces a force, force one, as he moves towards the ramp. At the same time, the ground itself, object two, produces an equal force, force two, in the opposite direction. That means that the rider moves forward. So both the rider and the ground acts as objects that produce forces in opposite directions. Both energy and Newton's laws are closely related. Both skateboarding and BMX bikes are great ways to explore the various types of energy and how they relate to Newton's laws. Kinetic energy is energy in motion, and a BMX rider doing a cool trick certainly shows this happening. Potential energy is energy at rest, and in which a rider or object could move, such as a rider balancing in an inverted aerial at the top of the ramp. For Newton's laws, the concepts of energy, both potential and kinetic, can be explored in a variety of ways. What are the ways you think energy is related to Newton's laws? When a skateboarder drops in on a ramp, the rider begins with potential energy, and this becomes kinetic energy as he moves down the transition. In this case, Newton's third law can be used to describe how the energy is being used. So see if you can maximize your potential the next time you're at the skate park and make it kinetic when you drop in.